Welcome to Island Talent. I'm your host, Lieutenant Commander Mike Smith. From TV and movie stars to rock stars and teen items, I've met all kinds. But my favorite talents are the hidden, undiscovered talents. And I know Make an Island is full of them. I'm on a quest to find them and bring them to you. Good morning, Seaman Groovy. You have four to eight minutes to meet me on Vulture's Road to receive your assignment. As always, should you or any member of our team be caught not participating in Raider Roundup, I will disavow all knowledge of your actions. And Seaman Grooby, next time you go to the ship's store, please be kind enough to let us know where you're going. This message will abruptly switch to Raider Roundup in five seconds. Seaman Groovy. Yes, sir. I need you to locate two talented dancers aboard the ship. First, I need you to locate Emma Manzi. She's a Lieutenant JG who recently checked aboard the ship as the assistant weapons officer, and she's a traditional Irish dancer. Second, BM3 Emerson French. He's a Melbourne shuffler. He's been aboard the ship since 2011. Any questions? No, sir. There have been a group of people dancing in the hangar bay throughout this deployment. I hear one of them may be boatswain's mate third class Emerson French. I'm currently on the hunt for him to figure out what this shuffling craze is all about, and why does he wear those crazy pants? So I'm MCSN Dennis Gruby and I'm here with BM3 Emerson French. So I hear that you do some shuffling? Uh, yes, that's correct, uh, MCSN Gruby. Uh, what kind of shuffling do you do, or what exactly is it? Uh, so what shuffling is, it's a way to dance and more so, I'm, uh, I'm a Melbourne shuffler. Mm -hmm. So when, I, when the beat hits, you do uh, two steps instead of one, which would be more a uh, California style of shuffling. Alright, can you give us an example of that? Uh, yes I can. So for when the, when the beat hits, so you're going to move your foot up and then back down. So then when your feet uh, come back down, it's per every single beat. So just be like, boom, 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 boom. Right. Not, not sure if the camera was able to see that or not. <laughs> uh, but that's what uh, I'm going to be doing. All right. And uh, how did you get started on shuffling? Uh, I started about at the very beginning of this year. Um, when I met my fiance, she asked me if I knew how to shuffle, and I didn't really know all too well. So it inspired me to, to get better at, uh, at learning how to shuffle. All right. and. Uh, do you, out, do you do it often like on the hangar bay or anywhere around here? Do you have a group that does it as well? Uh, yes, there's a few of us on board the ship. Uh, we try to meet about three times a day uh, just to work on uh, dancing and shuffling. It's great exercise and it uh, releases a lot of the stress from this deployment. I can see how it would help. Well, let's see what you got. Alrighty. Raising card, new street. So it looked like quite a workout. I was exhausted just from watching you. Uh, thank you. Uh, so you want to do a shout out or anything while you're here? Uh, yes, I'd like to give a shout out to my fiance, my mom, and all my friends back home. I love you so much. I'll see you real soon. I promise. That's BM3 French showing us how to shuffle. With a little bit of luck of the Irish, we happen to find that our second dancer is a traditional Irish dancer. She is the assistant weapons officer on board Lieutenant Junior Grade Emma Manzi. I wonder if it's anything like river dance. I'm MCSN Groovy here with Lieutenant JG Emma Manzi. Uh, so I hear you do some Irish step dancing? Yep, I do. And how'd you get started in that? I've been Irish dancing since I was nine years old. We moved to Portland, Oregon, and I saw some Irish dancers on St. Patrick's Day, and the next Tuesday I was signed up for lessons. Did you ever get the chance to perform live or in front of people? I have actually Irish dancing as many components. I was also a competitive Irish dancer, and then we also did a lot of performances, so I've done both. 
Okay. And what kept you doing it for so long? Um, definitely the support of my family, and it's one of those things where it's in your heart. Um, I stopped during college, but then, you know, I just wasn't happy when I came back to it. It just it fills me with joy, so I'm still doing it. All right. Well, let's see what you got. All right. Awesome. Training is the foundation of everything we do, from damage control to firing weapons to honing the most complicated dance skills. Our men and women are the best at what they do. I'm Lieutenant Commander Mike Smith. That's it for another episode of Violent Talent. Remember to keep one fist in the gold, one foot in the gutter. Hey, it's uh, Eddie Trump from That Metal Show on VH1 Classic. I just want to send the most sincere, heartfelt thank you to each and every one of you that I possibly can. I I've made my life interviewing rock stars and, and people that are honored and celebrated, but there is nobody in the world that deserves that sort of praise more than you guys, each and every one of you. So thank you for all you do for our country. I am eternally grateful, and you guys are all thank you.